Wow, this is amazing. Um, I'm kind of speechless right now because uh, my whole family is here, but I just want to thank uh, Mitch Barnhart and the whole um, University of Kentucky Athletic Committee just for this great honor. Um, I could have never imagined this in my wildest dreams. And, you know, I feel like it's just not about me. It's about the people that were around me that helped me in this community because I came a long way from Boston all the way to Kentucky and all this grass and horses and stuff. <laughs> I, I was kind of figuring out what decision did I really make. <laughs> but it worked out for me, I guess, okay. Um, but I definitely want to thank uh, Coach John Calipari for you know, invite me on his staff, giving me a chance to go back down memory lane and see it from a different perspective. And I really uh, enjoyed that time. We went to the Final Four. I think he got a little bit of luck from me. <laughs> but I really enjoyed it, so thank you, Coach Cal, for that opportunity. That was uh, a, a big blessing for me to have that opportunity. I was coming back, finishing my degree. Uh, I want to thank Dwayne PV for just keeping in touch with all my teammates, keeping us connected. Uh, I felt like he brought us all back together, and we've been together ever since. Um, definitely want to thank the people from CAS. Uh, trying to fly home at 3 a.m. and or, or 11 a.m. and having to test at 8 a.m. You know, it was very uh, stressful for me and. Um, you know, the countless hours in, in that tutorial program, um, I can't thank them enough for that. Barb Bradley, Mike Stone, obviously Lisa Berman was my tutor. Um, she was on my back countless hours about getting to class on time. Thank you for that, Lisa. Uh, Melissa Dawson, uh, Sheila Breeding, uh, Mia Perry, who, you know, probably wanted to hit me over the head with a bat because <laughs> I was dragging in my, my studies. Uh, Barbara Hamilton, uh, when I came back to finish my degree in 2010, was very, very helpful for me um, because I jumped in cold turkey and uh, I thought I was gonna jump off a bridge somewhere, but thank you, Barbara, for doing that for me. And all my tutors who helped me, I mean, they were, very, very, uh, very helpful in my, in, in my career here as far as my academic studies, which was very important for me. Um, just want to thank my coaches, um, Rick Catino, definitely for just making me understand responsibility and discipline, um, and also teaching me how to be a businessman. And I want to thank Coach Smith for just being that father figure that, you know, I didn't have here, um, teaching me the, the values of life, uh, being a black man, and taking care of the responsibilities I was supposed to. I remember one day he came in the lodge and we were saying, well, the janitors are supposed to take the trash out. And he said, no, you live here. You take the trash out. So I got that very well. <laughs> Want to thank my parents, uh, Jacqueline Rule, um, Albie Rule, uh, Velveline Turner, and my dad, Wayne Kimball, my brothers, Tiny, Dion, Shalom, Aaron, Alberto, better known as Kuki, Christopher, Sean, my friends, Sean Altieri, one of my best friends in the world. I uh, met him at, at Kennedy Bookstore. He was actually a manager for us. He's the reason why I couldn't shoot <laughs> or shoot the three. No, but I appreciate you, all the hours in the gym you spent with me, encouraging me, giving me the confidence to be the player that I was supposed to be when I came to Kentucky. Aisha, thank you for making the trip. Love you for that. Um, Son Yu, who couldn't be here, uh, my best friend since seventh grade, always told me that I would be great in basketball somewhere. And. Um, Lastly, I just want to thank the fans. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't want to get too emotional, but just want to thank my grandmother. Um, I didn't learn until my senior year that she was raised in Covington, Kentucky. 
Um, you know, I read her story, how she um, ventured off to Boston uh, to be a hairdresser. And she was someone that always told me that I could be whatever I wanted to be. And every day she told me that I was, I was gonna be someone. And um, you know, I believed it. And you know, I tried the accomplishment and she, she was right. So thank you grandma for that. Even though I know she was looking from above, um, I hope I made you proud. Last but not least, the fans, uh, everywhere I go, you know, there's fans saying, you know, I was, I was their favorite player. I don't believe that. <laughs> Antoine Walker sitting in the front row right here. I'm pretty sure they told him the same thing. But no, um, I'm very, very blessed to uh, have the opportunity to come to Kentucky and uh, be a part of a, just a great tradition um, here. And uh, you know, I wouldn't trade it for anything. People were asking me when I made my decision, why are you going all the way out there? You know, I, it's God's plan, um, you know, and uh, I was very, very blessed to play for some great players. Um, just want to congratulate all the inductees who got inducted tonight, who's getting inducted tonight. And uh, my teammates, for sure, definitely uh, pushed me. Antoine was on my back every day about I'm better than Tony Delk. I never thought that I was better than Tony Delk, but he, he, he made me somehow believe that. So appreciate that, bro. Um, but I just want to say, you know, feeling really blessed, overwhelmed. Uh, my family's here. haven't seen all of them together in a while. Uh, but just want to say thank you to everyone for just having me and uh, have a great evening. Thank you.